I'm holding a relic of Blessed Carlo Acutis. And as you have heard, no doubt, recently the Holy Father has approved the second miracle that is necessary for a saint's canonization. So very soon, Blessed Carlo Acutis will be Saint Carlo Acutis, a channel of grace already for the church, but now even more so, having been uh, or soon to be declared a saint. So let's just think for a moment or two why this is important and what this has to do with your life and mine. What is the purpose of the Christian life? Why are we here? What is our goal? The purpose of the Christian life, of course, is to get to heaven. And in order to get to heaven, we have to live a holy life. We have to become saints. And that sounds like a great challenge. And in fact, it is a great challenge. And without God's grace, and without Jesus Christ coming into the world and suffering and dying for us, releasing us from sin and death and rising from the dead, it would be impossible. But God in his goodness sent his son into the world so that we could live holy lives, so that it would really be possible to become a saint. Now the gospel shows us the path to sanctity and the sacraments, the seven sacraments, make it possible for us to receive the grace, the sanctifying grace that we need to live a holy life. But God knows that there are other gifts that we require as well to encourage us. And those gifts come to us frequently through the communion of saints. So in any given age in the church's history, and you know, the Catholic church is 2000 years old, in any given age in the church's history, God raises up holy men and women to inspire us, to encourage us, and to say what we read in the gospel and what we hope to achieve, sanctity and salvation, is really possible. So blessed Carlo Acutis is a saint for our times for a couple of reasons, I think. First of all, he's a young man or was a young man when he died and how important it is for young people to come to an appreciation of the gift of the gospel. He was very much someone who understood the benefits and the use of technology in a good way for evangelization and catechesis. And he concentrated his efforts, especially on the Holy Eucharist, which you and I consider to be because of our faith the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ under the appearance of bread and wine. Now, you may have read that the belief in what we call the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist is something that is not strong or robust in the church today, even amongst those who describe themselves as Catholics. So God has raised up for us in this time a young man who was committed to sharing the truth the marvel, the mystery, and the wonder of the gift of the Holy Eucharist. That's blessed Carlo Acutis. So you can become more familiar with the details of his life, and it would be fascinating to read how grace was at work. But for the moment, let's just give thanks that our Father who promised us that he would never leave us orphan would always ensure that we have the means to sanctity and salvation, and we would have encouragement. And we would have that in the form of men and women who have lived holy lives and have proven that what God asks us to do in the gospel is possible, not just for them, but for you and me. God bless you.